Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at answering this question. Is the ordered pair a solution to the inequality? Well, there's a couple of points on there, and by the end of class today, you'll be able to say whether points are solutions to linear inequalities. We're going to show you um, how to do the math and also what it looks like, and we're going to show you that through, as always, lots and lots and lots of practice. So here's what it looks like. This is a graph of a linear inequality. Y is greater than negative X plus 1. This linear inequality shows that the shaded region is above the line. And that means everything in the shaded region is a solution. You might get a question like this. Is the point 1, 3 a solution to this inequality? And if you have the graph, you can simply plot the point 1, 3, remembering that the first value is how much you move side to side. Your second number is how much you move up and down. So you go 1, 3, and plot the point there. Is it inside the shaded region? Absolutely, it is. So if it is inside the shaded region, that means the point 1, 3 is a solution for this inequality. Now let's look at another point. Is the point 0, 0 a solution to this inequality? I'll plot the point 0, 0. That is the origin. It is not in the shaded region, so that means no, it is not a solution to this inequality. And that's basically how it works. If it's in the shaded region, it is a solution. If it's not, it's not. Now, oftentimes, you will not be given this graph. And it's sometimes a pain to draw the graph. So, how would we solve this without a graph? I'm going to use the same inequality, the same two points, and show you how you would solve this without the graph. We already know the answers, but it's good to see it mathematically, just to get an idea of how this works. So the first thing to think about is that an ordered pair is made up of two numbers an x value and a y value. The x value is how far it moves side to side. The, x, the y value is how far it moves up and down. So in this ordered pair, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So I'm going to substitute the value x equals 1 and y equals 3 into my inequality. y is greater than negative x plus 1. So this step I went ahead and substituted x equals 1, y equals 3, and then I solve negative 1 plus 1 gives me 0, x or 3 is greater than 0. This statement is true. We already know that the yellow point is in the shaded region, but now we've proven it mathematically. This statement, 3 is greater than 0, is true. If I get a true statement, that means that this point is a solution to this inequality. Next question, is 0, 0 a solution? We know the answer is no, but let's go ahead and do the math. We'll substitute x equals 0 and y equals 0 into this inequality. 0 is greater than negative 0 plus 1. Negative 0 is just 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 is greater than 1. No, it's not. So when the statement is false, as it is here, then we can know it is not a solution to the inequality. So visually, you see the graph, that's what it looks like. And you can plot points and check them against a graph, that's fine. But you can also check mathematically without needing the graph. We've just shown you both ways in this last couple of minutes. So, now it is your turn. You are given this inequality, y is less than 4x plus 2. I've given you a point 0, 3 and asked, is this point a solution to the inequality? I want you to pause the video and try that out. And tell me, is it true, yes or no? Did you pause? Go on and pause. Okay. So after you've paused it and returned, now I'm going to show you. So spoiler alert, here's the answer. We substitute x equals 0 and y equals 3 into this inequality. That's our inequality, y is less than 4x plus 2. So when I substitute the values, it looks like this. 3 is less than 4 times 0 plus 2. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So the question is, 
3 is less than 2. False, right? So hopefully you came up with that um, solution as well. 0, 3 is not a solution to this inequality. Let's look at another point. My favorite point to, to check is 0, 0, because the math is always easy. So I'll go ahead and check that. Is the point 0, 0 a solution to this inequality? Welcome back. Spoiler alert. Eh. X equals 0, Y equals 0. We're going to substitute that into our inequality. So I will have 0 is less than 4 times 0 plus 2. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So I end up with 0 is less than 2. That is a true statement. Therefore, the origin, or the point 0, 0, is a solution to this inequality. That would be within the shaded region. Last question. I want you to discover if the point 4, negative 8 is a solution to this inequality. To do that, you're going to substitute x equals 4, y equals negative 8 into the inequality. When I stopped talking, did you do the question? You should have. This is your practice time. Get busy. All right, so go ahead and substitute those in. If you haven't already solved it, take a minute and pause the video and try it out. Substituting into y is less than 2x minus 3. My y value is negative 8. My x value is positive 4. And on the right side of this inequality, I do 2 times 4, which is 8, and 8 minus 3 is 5. Negative 5 is less than, or negative 8, sorry, is less than 5? Yeah, that's a true statement. So the point 4, negative 8 is a solution to the inequality. In other words, it is inside the shaded region. Try out with the origin. Why not? Let's finish things off with a nice, easy question. Start off, um, solve it for the origin, 0, 0. All right. So we substitute in the x value of 0 and the y value of 0 into the inequality. y is less than 2x minus 3. Put in those zeros. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Is 0 less than negative 3? Absolutely not. Whoa, back up. So we know that the point 0, 0 is not a solution to this inequality. In other words, it is not in the shaded region. And that's how you solve it. You're substituting the, the um, ordered pair values, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, into the inequality, solving and seeing if it's, um, if it's correct. One thing to remember, when you are given an ordered pair, it is an x-value and a y-value. Um, make sure to practice, practice, practice. Here are some other videos I thought you might like. Have a wonderful day.